We will gain 25 prestige, gain a cultural union of Latin. Yes, please. There is no downside to that whatsoever. Aiden. It's over here, right? Yes. Still want to keep it to core hungry. How much overextension did that give me? 7.2. So, if I take all my cores, uh, let's see, that's not a core, if I take my cores, no, not cores, claims, I don't have any cores in Hungary, at least not yet, would be taking an unlawful territory, still nothing too bad. Any trade goods I really want? No. Any trade hubs I really want? Torda. And Pest is occupied by Poland. Might as well take a bit more. He would not be overextended. He would have a decent coalition against us. So if I don't take Marmaros, let's wait until January of next year. We need to peace out Brandenburg anyway. And I believe our aggressive expansion does lower by quite a bit. By 4.2 a year. That's pretty good for burning aggressive expansion. Oh nice, Hungary dealt with my rebels for me. Because apparently Trent still had an army kicking around, but no longer. Do oh, I care about military interaction? I don't need the sailors. Would get free tank galleys. Burgers would gain land though. Oh, right, I do need to promote some culture. One, because that gives us more money and manpower, I think. And two, because we are already, again, starting to reach the diplomatic monarch power cap. Poland, we can still call in. I do not want to. Let's chase them away from Pest. I doubt they will stay there after all when they see my 30 stack coming. And if they don't run, they'll just get stack wiped immediately. We do need better payments. Because I need more army professionalism. And I do have the money to pay them. Brandenburg. Get out of my war. Pay me for the privilege of being defeated. Steer some trade. Yeah, you're probably not worth much. Not at all. Let's get you marching to Gallipoli again. And... That should be the loss of their army. I think they have a little bit of army kicking around elsewhere, but not that I can see. We get another missionary, because we have more Protestant nations. That does mean I can put another one on Autonomous next month, probably. But the Reformation is happening. That should be all right. Oh, did we already receive the... Yes, we already received the missionary. All right, then. Now, do we peace out with this? I think we do. 
Although... Maybe a couple provinces less. Because Poland might join. Poland are my ally, so I doubt they will. But still... James, how much is your... What's 10 development, 8... Did we take Bihar? No. I think Hunyat will leave to the Hungarians. We'll take a little bit more money and avoid a bit bigger coalition like that. And make our borders a lot better. It's still a bit of border gore with Serbia in there. But I do need to core them before I declare war on the Ottomans again. Which will happen pretty soon. I need to focus admin power. I should have switched that focus a lot earlier. But well, at least now it is switched. Hang on a second. Alright, that's much better. Just some connection issues on my part. So I need to reload my browser and all of the territory I do not care Bosnian we still need the admin power which we will get soon ish I do not want to make any states right now could upgrade some trade indeed Ragusa. I mean, most of it is already flowing into Venice. Venice, we pretty much have around 80%. Yeah, exactly 80%. I think we'll upgrade Verona. Istria. We can't because we need to be. Development level 10. So that gives us. If we go to next month, does that change our trade power at all? By 2%. Ooh, Poland did break their alliance with us. Which isn't really awful, but it's also not optimal. What are you doing? Improve relations with neighbors. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Coalition. Yeah, Polish are not able to join. They won't defend me anymore, but they're not able to join. I do want to switch the Polish out for another alliance. Sweden, maybe? Timurids to take care of the monks. Well, eventually I will want to eat the Timurids, same with Tunis. But first I need the Ottomans. We gain influence for the aristocrats. Morale of armies would improve. Yeah, sure, why not? In loyalty and pace production because we finished an agenda for the diet. How the pesters are kinda cranky. Nothing really we can do about it. Nothing really we want to do about it. How's our how did that affect our coalition? That taking this land did affect our coalition over here by quite a bit. How's that religion looking actually? Yeah, Reformation is spreading. 
that will probably be very bad for HRE. So it means it's good for us. That 11 is the highest over here, so we will claim that. Rebel Uprisings, Orthodox Salads. Where? Well, nowhere we really need to be concerned about. So I'll just have you drill. That's fine. Long term. For the man payment in full. I'll probably go long term. You gain a lot of money through trading. Yeah, it's almost double that of taxation. Now, here's a question. Do I build some more? I probably should. Some more courthouses while we're at it. And maybe some more... Army. We're getting to the point that we can almost port a fort 30 stack. And we'll still be at 30 stack for... Right? I think until 1600 somewhere. So like 50 years. Our truce with the Ottomans will end... December of 1550. So we'll definitely have to be ready to attack them then. They are no longer allied with Russia. Perfect. Did have to break their alliance last stream. Which wasn't too difficult. Now. I am going to speed 5. Because there's not really much to do right now. Literature civil, orthodox salads. I'll have you stop drilling, you can deal with the orthodox salads. There's no fort stopping you, unfortunately, but... They'll just have to reconvert you. At another time. Again, Ducats. Naples would hate us more, but we do not care about their opinion. I do not want to lose trade power in Genoa. I could get lose some prestige instead, but I have enough Diplo power right now. I can afford to spend some. I could upgrade some more trade hubs. Can I upgrade you if I have the funds for it? No, you're not developed enough. How much trade power do I have? 20% already. Pretty good. We also have Milan. At least the city of Milan. Oh, it seems like they didn't convert. They probably already were orthodox. Yeah, spare no expense, that's fine. Nope, they did not accept your mission. Apparently I didn't. That's fine, we can just do it manually. Ooh, free population in the Bahamas. Who doesn't like that? I haven't been in Bahamas, but I, it is very popular to a spot, I hear. So maybe eventually I will go one day. I mean, maybe, perhaps. I haven't been on a plane before, so it would be a very long flight for my first flight, so probably will not anytime soon. At least not for my first trip. Uh, I don't really care about Swedish opinion. 
but sure we'll see if we can't get a boost in relationship or something. Oh, I do want a fort alliance. I can actually invite some more to a trade league. Imareti. We care about Imareti. Not really, I care more about Augsburg. But I can still invite Imareti, so why not? Oh no, Team Prestige. That's a shame that we lose it, but it's not too bad. No, alliance wise. We can get Poland back. We could get Bohemia back. Now they are a an elector. Might be able to do something with the HRE like that, but for now I think I want Poland back on my side. At least for a little while longer. And I'll get some more mercantilism. A couple more, not too much. Right, I don't need you to drill again. Ow! It is my army professionalism. Still need quite a bit more. The population against Russia, sure. Now, do you actually need my help with that? Lithuania has... 12k, Poland is 42k. So... I don't think you do need my help with it. I might send this deck just to go siege Moscow. And... Maybe get some funds for us. And ensure that the army um, goes as quickly as possible. I did not expect Moldavia, not Moldavia to join in the war. So they did manage to fight our drilling army, which they will regret very heavily. Very quickly. Because there goes all their army. You go siege, you blockade Venice, at least straight crossing, you can go back to drilling. You might as well order bombardment here, though there is no point in suffering attrition. Hello Kosovo. You will be defeated. I, you have no chance of becoming an independent. Just none. None whatsoever. Can we fabricate another one? Probably before we can start another war against the Ottomans. Now, do I want to eat the rest of Anatolia or the Pontic Steps from the Ottomans? Well, Moldavia very quickly gave up. We can get you back on drilling. Could have also waited until Poland dealt with my rebels for me, but I'm not really patient enough for that today. We'll definitely want to get the Panama. Because I will want that canal done as soon as we can. We do need military, well, Diplo Tech 20 to start building the Panama Channel. But still. If I can take it from the Spanish, I will. 
And I think we will definitely invest in a military tech 13. That gives us innovation a lot more. And we gain some better cannons. Finished scoring perfectly in time to go to war with the Ottomans. Even a year early, I think. Yes. 1551 is when we will pull the trigger on the Ottomans. Oh, free prestige. Which will turn into monarch power because we did get to 100 prestige immediately. Go for the eyes. Indeed, plus 15 army morale. Nice. And an ability. Prestige for missionaries. Yes. Of Moscow, let's get you ready to invade the Ottomans. We will root it out. I will transfer this occupation back to Lithuania. No need for us to keep sieging. I'll keep that occupation. I go Circassia. I might have wanted to eat myself, but not really. Don't give me a... I might take it to make it a trade company. Which provinces do I have in this? Utrebizonda. Are you a state? You are not. I could make you a trade company. I think I will. I really should get more trade companies. I use them way too sparingly. I have a tendency to make every province a state which you really shouldn't do mostly because you don't have the cat for it the governing capacity that is so i think everything that's kind of north of the caucasus i'll try and put and, and make trade companies but i could get an, an investment i do need more manpower Yeah, the army tradition, maybe. Definitely not the naval force limit. We have enough of that. Land force limit. Yes. That would allow us to get another 30 stack. In fact, we can already get one. Let me get, create a template for that real quick. 30 stack. And have you built... You probably should be built in time for our next war against the Ottomans. Our artist died. I'll take the yearly tax guy. We can promote you. But you're Sunni. And we are Protestant. I mean, you are Turkish. Is it only based on the culture? I thought they need to be both your culture and your religion to be able to promote them. Well, we'll just promote them anyway, if the game lets me. As I was wrong on that. There goes our truce with the Ottomans. We will definitely go to war with them immediately. I will not call in the Mamluks. I will call in Poland, but not Lithuania. And we will focus our war on... Krim would be here. Cafe would also be here. Ankara. 
Yes, probably just on Kara. I care about Akoyunlu, no. Ushasha. No, although I might want to vassalize them and feed them them with Kazimuk. Let's say Kazimuk. Do we have any allies? No. Ushasha. Karakoyunlu. We won't call in Mushasha. Akoyunlu also does not have any other alliances, so there's no reason why we shouldn't co belligerize them. So I will just declare war on them. You need to block the straits. But this war, I will go back to speed 3. And I might just... Mm, no, because Lithuania claims this area. And I might want to eat that area. Like this dirty stack, you can go siege Ankara immediately. But the capital is in Karman. I figured it would have been in Ankara itself. I feel like that's a... Historic capital of the Ottomans. We'll definitely get that break. Because I also want to trade efficiency. Alright. Still could make more... States, but... I don't think I want more states. Can go siege that province. Our new stack can go siege... Emia. And after we've occupied the 10, we can call in the Lithuanians. I will just pay instead of lose the stability. We can afford it after all. Now we will have to siege most of this manually. The Protestant and Catholic leagues are available. I can join when I finish my wars. I'll probably join the Protestant League. With the admin or the kills gain influence. I'll allow the kills to take some influence. I need my admin to core. It's pretty soon we will. Mantua has joined the Protestant League. A lot have. Currently it's Bohemia. That's in the lead. I do not want to take that much attrition here. So let's pull back with 18 of our stack. And Karaman should fall pretty quickly. But same here, I do not want the attrition. You are currently hunting the enemy army. Let go stay in Ivregi. Ooh, that's a 45 stack. Hang on, hang on. We need to pull back from Karaman. I do not want to fight a 55 stack, a 45 stack in the Highlands. No, thank you, sir. Now, if they're taking attrition, I would love that. But they're probably not. I will wait a month until I pay off the peasants. Now I do feel comfortable enough to stage Karaman with this 13 stack. If I have two other 30 stacks next to it. Main Protestant Trader. Now we still want our improved relations guy. 
and we don't have enough money to improve the peasant situation, but now we do. Making 67 ducats a month. Nice. 